Hey everybody, Eckers here. Welcome back to Sheltered. So we just got back from that long expedition down to the southwest. Um, Peggy and Al are recovering. Um, they didn't get wounded or anything like that. Dog is now hung, or full. We're going to go ahead and fill his bowl again. We need. We actually ran out of room in our pantry uh, for the ration, so we're going to need to uh, uh, build a bigger pantry. And um, then we need to go out and run around again looking for some more... Um, lenses i think what we'll do is we'll do a quick little um photo recovery these are our arm traps up here by the way ready to just plunge down on any unwanted guests um i think what we'll do is we will probably oh, let's take a look at our inventory here we got a lot of of great gear actually so we got plenty of uh, gas masks we got this hatchet so i, I do want to get everyone's or well not everyone but at least one of our expedition members strength up to nine um, 12 for the shotgun, so yeah, we're going to be missing with that, unfortunately. Um, Alright, well, it is what it is. We need to get somebody on that heavy bag. I'm trying to figure out who, who's the strong one around here. I wish I could kind of... Is there a way that... Right, Peggy, come here. What am I strength? You got 8? Peggy, I need... Uh, she's tired. Uh, bud, you're at like 2. Kelly's at like four. Al's at I can't remember what Al's at, but anyway, everyone's here. Just gonna we're just gonna let them live here for a minute. We got um oh we got somebody coming down here. We have a couple people coming down. All right, let's let's answer the answer the intercom here. Robert, I'd like to negotiate a trade with your group. I wait your decision. Yeah, okay. Rubber, yes, we can do that. I was just saying how much I needed the rubber. And um, some switch. How are we doing on switches? Three, twenty-five shotgun ammo. Um, let's see if we can get some more of these switches. And wool. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. I got plenty of fuel, and I know where to find more, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's see if we can get some. So that's thirty, huh? Yeah. We got a lot of stakes too, and we got some more up there on the on the surface. I think maybe. But let's give a couple stakes out here. Let's try to spread the uh, this 20 to really don't want to give away my crafting items. Unless I see something that was really not worth it. That's close. That's really close. I need one with 10. Is there something that I'm willing to part with that's like 10? I really wish I could find more lenses, but uh, he didn't bring any today, unfortunately bucket and a rope that would be 10 exactly sand and limestone oh that that's actually pretty good let's do that yeah oh i need one i need one okay let's find something really chintzy a piece of yarn for a piece of yarn i don't know that doesn't seem right a piece of wood i guess we could do that we find wood a lot in a lot of places we even find we haven't have more metal now all right, let's do that. Yeah, okay. We got some of these items. Yeah, that's fine. I'm down with that. Okay. Kelly, can you fill the bowl? And then we will get you started on some more heavy... Yeah, we'll get you started on some more heavy bag work here. Kelly might be one of the ones going out on my uh, expedition now. She's going to turn into a little, uh, you know, little shelter ninja. She's working at it. She's putting in the effort, right? So, yeah, let's get that all fixed up. Let's take a look and see what's in bad shape. Oxygen filter again, water filter. And small freezer, makeshift shower. Okay, so we got some things we can do around here. What's going on here? Anything? We had a trader pass by today. I wonder how they managed the car. We've already seen all these messages. They're all repeating themselves. I'm going to start ignoring them. How are we doing on books? We've got six books. That's good. And um, I need you to go up and fix the filters. 63, 73. Buck's doing good. He's got a bowl full of food. We got some rations. 10 out of 10 and 9 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Okay. We could actually go. Pro I don't know how many. I can't remember how many uh, meat we get from this deer. Oh, yes. Yeah, someone needs to uh, refuel. Please refuel. Um, yeah, I don't think we have the. Items to upgrade. Dust storm resistance. Decrease in speed at which it breaks down. 
Yeah, we're not ready for that one yet. Um, durability might be worth it, but then we're going to use up all of our springs. I'm not down. I'm just not down with it yet, you know? I know everyone's like, upgrade those, upgrade those. I'm like, I'm not running into a problem at all. I mean, we're not even getting close to being in the bottom half of... Uh, I keep hitting upgrade. I'm going to hit fix. There we go. And then after that, you can go fix that one. There you go. He's got his tasks. Al, your strength is two. You do need to train up while you wait for Kelly. I know. He's like, I was just about to have a meal. Okay, there you go. Al, go ahead and have that meal now. You earned it. Yeah, Kelly, you can go ahead and take that shower. Especially while it's, since it's raining. Peggy? Yeah, get on that heavy bag. She should upgrade here, I think, to nine, which should give us enough strength. For, oh, I thought she was going to get it that time. Let's keep her on the heavy bag. Keep her going. Kelly, I need you to keep going after that heavy bag. Both of you. They're fighting over it. Maybe they just fight each other rather than hit the heavy bag. Be more realistic anyway. He's sleeping in his <laughs> hazmat suit. No, oh, so she's increased her dexterity. Oh, I need you. To, I need you to increase your. All right, you take that suit back. Wait, did I have Kelly? Oh no, no, no! I didn't need Peggy to take the suit back. I wanted Bud to take return his suit. There you go, Peggy. I guess. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Okay. We just need another bed is what we're going to end up needing, really. So I might might have Bud just build another bed. Uh, what we got here? Can we do a nice bed? Ooh, what's this, a tent? If an expedition party has a tent equipped, their stats will increase 50% slower whilst on their expedition. What? Why would I want that? If it Wait a minute, I must be reading this wrong. If a tent expedition party has a tent equipped, their stats will increase 50% slower while on their expedition. I want their stats to increase faster. That doesn't make sense to me at all. More items will be found at the farms and offices. So I imagine you're going to find some pretty good stuff there. That might be worth making, actually. A lockpick. I think we have one we have well we don't have any binoculars yeah because it takes lenses that would be a lot of lenses too that's basically puts us back to square one hmm all right well this is a comfy bed I don't we don't have any comfy beds use up all of our springs uh, we need one let's throw it down here for now until we get this place organized but can get started on that How's Kelly doing? Okay, her strength is at five. Peggy's got to get some sleep. She's got to. That's all there's to it. How's our fuel situation going here? Not so good. After you get that drink, I need you to add a little bit of fuel there, Kelly. There we go. And then while you're at it, Kelly, could you go ahead and fill the doggy's bowl, please? He's begging for food. And then, Kelly, I need you to go hit the heavy bag. Al. You're such a weakling, dude. You are such a weakling. Okay. Um, yeah, Al, go ahead and get started on the shelter cleanup. Kelly's strength has increased. That's good. She's up to six now. Okay. Love her. Go hit the heavy bag again. This thing's taking a beating. I mean, okay. <laughs> no pun intended. I just realized it. Yeah. Good stuff. So we'll have her uh, fix that here. Oh, she's going to get a nap. In the comfy bed. And then Peggy, you got you. Okay, Peggy, I need for you to hit that heavy bag. Al, he is uh, taking care of business there. It looks like they have stomach cramps when they're sitting there rocking back and forth. I guess it's not. I guess it's I'm just taking care of business. I always get worried when I see them like that. I'm like, what are they about to go try to find a, a, a roof access to one of these buildings and take a plunge or something. I don't, I don't know. So we do have some uh, things that need repaired. I saw 30 something on that. Yeah, the makeshift shower needs repaired. Small freezer. 
what else? Anything in the fifties? Yeah, punching bag. Okay, so makeshift shower, punching bag, bed, one of the beds, and uh, one of the freezers. Both the freezers. Okay, so uh, which bed is it? Yeah, let's get how to fix that. I need you, bud. I need you to fix that shower. When Peggy gets done, I'll have her fix the punching bag she's been beating the crap out of. Looks like she's torching the wall. I don't... Okay, and then, Kelly, you can fix that freezer there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and add fuel to that. For sure we'll need it. And uh, let's see if we can... Yeah, we should probably be able to harvest the meat now. It's got six spots of it. I don't think we get six off it. Did we get six? I can't remember. We might wait a minute on that still. Poor stove, go ahead and fix that. While she uses it, we're fixing it as we're as she's using it. Probably not advisable. How's that? How's the bucket doing here? How's her bucket situation? Okay, small freezer. Generator needs fixed. And what else? Small the other small freezer. So Al, you can get started fixing that. Bud, you can get started fixing the uh, generator. She is taking care of business over here. Uh, Kelly, clean the shelter. I want to get Peggy up to nine, so she can at least carry the hatchet around without a penalty. And then we'll head on off again. We'll head to that cave, try to get that photograph, and then shoot on over. And uh, hit the warehouse again. Not much going on out here, really. Four, ten. Uh, can't see. Kelly, I'd like for you to hit the punching bag again. I should get like four punching bags and just have everyone training all at once. Like it's a little dojo. Okay, she's she is up to nine. That's good. Alright. And Peggy, let's see here. How are we doing off water? Should be uh, we need we could go for a rainstorm actually. So Alright, so I'll be taking let's see here. He's got good perception, which is great for finding things. He's got good charisma, so Al's definitely going to go. Peg's definitely going to go. Kelly's my ninja in training. Um, I I wish I could just click on her stats. And, yeah, it doesn't work like that. It'd be nice to be able to bounce between her stats rather than having to mouse over. There's probably a way to do that, and I'm probably just not understanding how to do it. All right, I think probably we can head on up and let's get her to fill the dog bowl. 97, 96, everything's looking pretty good. Oxygen filter. And uh, normally whenever the oxygen filter goes, the water filter goes as well. Yes, okay. Have her hop up, up top here. Al. Oh, never mind, Al. Oh, everyone's asleep. Someone was going to feed the dog, but never mind. I like his little elevator system in here. He's got like this little dummy elevator thing going on. I might have Peggy go ahead and uh, harvest that deer just to see what we get out of it. Uh, I don't want to have too many pieces of meat, so we end up wasting any. That's my biggest concern. Alright. So what do we need for an upgrade? Let's take a look. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize that the lenses that we had in hand were the four that we needed. Okay. We can upgrade. Yeah, we're going to be doing that then. And I think Kelly is our upgrade superstar, right? So let's do it. Let's upgrade this thing. Oh, that's great. Peggy, I need you to return the suit, please. I know it's, it gets so comfy in there, you probably just forget, but uh, it is what it is. So we're going to wait for a rainstorm. And, uh, yeah, Peggy did. I did forget to have Peggy grab that uh, deer. All right. So let's take a look. We opened up Tier 4. We could actually make a great bulletproof vest, which sounds pretty freaking awesome. We've got entertainment options, large pantry, 50 rations. I kind of think that might be worthwhile to have. Efficient shower, efficient toilet. Um, cleans you with very little water and reduces dirtiness. Okay. So those two sound really good too. Bunk beds reduces tiredness too at the same time. Solar panel. Now, if I break down a bed, I wonder. There's the one I want. That's the Grand Poopa right now. 
So I need, ah, uh, transistors, it's the one thing that I left behind in the last episode. No, and pipes. I don't think I actually left behind any pipes, so I don't feel bad. I, I'd still be lacking the pipes at least, so we need pipes and transistors. And um, then we could go from there, unfortunately. Crafting ammo, laboratory, laboratory, whatever. Needle intelligence of 10. I think someone has 10, don't they? We're not, we're not complete freaking dopes down here, are we? Could be, by now. Grow your own food. Well, I think we're good on food. I'm not too worried about that. If... Okay, so... Increases the effectiveness of your food rations. That sounds pretty good, too. So these all sound wonderful, and I love them all. Um, collects water vapor from the air until it's full. That sounds really good. Large freezer. 40 portions. So I think what we'll do is... The shotgun trap. That's probably going to be... These all look excellent. I don't know which I don't know which one to taste first. A large rucksack. That's probably the one I need to taste first, actually. 12 spots available. All right, let's go ahead and... Can I make two of those? I can make two of those. Oh, we're so doing that. Let's do that. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want, I don't want her to do it. I think Kelly's my crafting expert, isn't she? Dexterity, eight. Wait, let's see. What, what's your dexterity at? Eight. That's about the same. Dexterity three, intelligence. Well, maybe intelligence has. I don't know if it matters. Okay, we'll just have Kelly make the. We'll give her a little project. She's gonna make us two uh, large rucksacks, and then after that one, she can make a, another rucksack. So she's got two crafting opportunities. Is this guy gonna mess with my stuff? I don't think so because I didn't reject him. I know if you reject people here, they go up sometimes and bang up your equipment and break it. Um, it's like, there's a supermarket of food. He's just walking right past. I'm a survivor. I'm just going to leave those two items in the trap because we're on the honor system here in the, in the apocalypse. All right, Al, you definitely need a shower. I ain't, I'm just saying, dude. We've all had those days where we're like, oh, God, I really need a shower bad. All right. The guy I used to work with at the old police department, he uh, he said he, he was up in the Korangal Valley in the 10th Mountain Division. Um... And uh, he said the longest time he was uh, without a shower was when he was out on one of the uh, the fire bases. I think it was I think it might have been Restepo actually, but um, anyway, um, he said that uh, we haven't left the shelter for a few days. Are we getting a little stir crazy? He said the longest he'd been at without a shower was thirty days out at that fire base. So, all right, Al, you're good on sleep. Peggy, you are good. Um, your strength is. Decent. You can still work out because we're, we're going to be, and not you, Al. Al, you're a weakling. You'll always be a weakling. Just let, get, Al, just leave. Meh, okay. Meh. Okay, Kelly. Good job on the upgrade, or good job on the crafting. Bud, I'm going to have you clean the shelter and feed the animal. Um, we still need that water. That's what we're really waiting on. Keep going back to that, I guess. Now, oh, Peggy, I need you to hit the. Hit the heavy bag. How, how is the heavy bag? It's probably getting worn out. Nope, it's doing all right. Let's see here. Strength to go up here. Nice. Hit it. Oh, she's getting tired. She took the comfy bed this time, though. That's good. Peggy's doing all the work around here. So, And let's have somebody go up and harvest those two uh, meats, because we're down to one there, and... 10 here and it's black rain oh no it's going to get damn, can't, contaminated no big deal what we'll do is we will um, we will uh, let it filter itself through and uh, do the repairs and we'll head on out on the expedition so this will get like 25% contaminated so it's 8 so we didn't use we had 9 spots available for the meat so it, it was only 8 so we didn't lose any and we got 2 leather out of it good stuff but we're gonna lose. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Ah. I think we only. Yeah, we only got one. That was some due to storage limitations. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Oh, and we caught one immediately <laughs> afterwards. Like the rabbit's like, oh, there's a trap. I've been waiting for that trap to be uh, be open for me. Bam! Straight into it. All right. Let's repair a bed. Let's repair what else? The makeshift shower. And uh, we'll leave the rest of the stuff to the kids while the parents are off on their date night. Okay, so you go uh, fix that, please. Al, how are we doing over here? You getting a little tired? Al, why don't you take a sleep? Not you, Kelly, not you. Al. 
There we go. Kelly, why don't you fill the uh, generator? Because it's probably getting a little empty. We are getting... Eh, getting on some black rain there. Who else needs sleep? Peggy could use a shower, but we probably don't want a black rain shower. Mm, Peggy could probably fix the punching bag, though. That's 95, that's 67. After that, she can fix the uh, bed over here. But how are we doing here? What we got going on here? 87? Yeah, should, should just use a clipboard. It's easier that way. Yeah, everything else is looking pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with all that. Al, what do, you, what do we got going on? Can I have you read? Mm, he's doing okay, though. There's nothing going on here. So I'm not worried about any of the, anybody's mental conditions. It, they're actually doing very well. Of course, we are thriving out here. I mean, we're doing really good. We have an abundance of an embarrassment of riches, is what I guess you would probably call it. But uh, we'll wait for this to filter down here. There it goes. So it's starting to filter down. See, I'm not that worried about it. Doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. I just find activities for them to do. Wait for Kelly to wake up here. Have her go hit the heavy bag. She's gonna be my backup. Uh, backup BA. Oh, she needed a shower, didn't she? Yeah, she kind of read about it. She got in the shower. And we're down to 8% contamination. Yeah, she uses the shower. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the uh, hit the trail. We're going to catch another rabbit with our super advanced trap. No. What are you doing? You thinking about it? Oh, there's regular rain. That's good. We'll wait. Oh, man. He went for it. I was hoping for a deer. All right, let's feed. Let's feed Buck. Poor Buck. He's starving. He can't be starving. He's an awesome dog. Okay, so I think they're chopping at the bit to get out of here. Is there anything that we can do? Clean shelter. Kelly gets on that. Al, let's make sure that our expedition party's gonna be in good shape. Oh, Peggy, you need to let's go take a shower. There we go. There we go. Now we're maxed out. And uh we could probably wash that toilet out there. Yeah, that actually made her more dirty, but toilet. Have her get, take care of that. Get some sleep. Al, how are we doing on sleep over here, buddy? I need you guys to get into condition for your little trip. Because you're about to go out on a trip. And we should be at 90. Okay, good. Probably need, need to build another rain barrel as well. And we are a little bit low on fuel. So we'll have Bud head up here. Add fuel. Um, how are things going here? These need fixed. Kelly... My go-to girl. All right, you go up here, fix and fix. Take a look at our storage situation. Got some big rucksacks. What can I do with these? Can I get rid of them? No, I don't want to discard them. I was hoping I could break them down for components. Okay. So, Kelly's doing okay. Al's ready to go pretty much. Peggy's gonna be ready to go. You get yourself a drink real quick. Okay, I think we're ready to roll. Let's um, plan another one here. Set up an expedition. Not ready to broadcast yet. I don't have my uh, higher level um, traps set up. So I want to have those all set up before I uh, actually start broadcasting my location to, to the entire world. Okay, so we're going to have Al course. Next person is going to be uh, Peggy. She's feeling okay, so that's good. We'll hit our map, and we do want our pet. That should be default, yes, man. Why would you ever leave the pet home? Okay, let's back out here a little bit. So we would definitely want to come down and hit the uh, hit the cave, all right? There's a couple caves, so we're going to hit this mine. We're going to hit that mine. That one's a target for the photo. And then we want to come across and hit the top portion of this area. And then we're going to hit this guy on the way back. And uh, you know what? Hold on. Let me get rid of that one. I want to hit this, whatever this is, and then hit him. That should be good. And then we're going to hit some of these areas on the way back here, like the lumber yard and the reservoir and shack. Oops. Looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. 
that's gonna be a it's gonna be 76 water it's a long long haul but that's all right was there a scrap yard down here oh yeah there is there's a large scrap yard Ooh. let's see if I can let's see if I can add no that's a weird okay hold on back way out here people okay so I want to hit this large scrap yard unfortunately there's no real heat I might want to hit these areas too Large factory photo. Oh, hold on. There we go. That pretty much depletes our water, but that's okay. It's raining on the surface, so we're going to get re-upped a little bit straight away. That's going to be a long trip. We're kind of avoiding the hospital, which is okay. we got plenty of meds, so we'll give it a chance to... Oh, we, only, we hit that nine days ago? Oh, I guess we have been in the shelter for a long time, so that's actually going to be pretty good. Um... Who, are, who we got here? This is Al, right? He can't haul, or he can't... Yeah, I wish it would give you your stats right here, right? Uh, but it doesn't. Um, well, he's going to be carrying shotgun, even though he's basically ineffectual with it. Um, so the rebar is actually better than a hatchet. That's unbelievable, but uh, it requires 14 strength. Hatchet requires 9, so Peggy's going to be good. To, she's going to be all... Uh, it's going to be... I can't wait for a combat, basically. We'll give Al the shotgun even though he's combat combat ineffective with it and give him a large rucksack we'll make sure that yeah that is the large one okay so that gives us 12 storage spots and then we also gonna probably give him the uh, he's got good perception so I'm gonna also give him the metal detector um, okay that looks pretty good to me I don't think we really need oh we need ammo Duh. <laughs> click 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 that wasn't very good of course it's probably all he'll do in combat anyway so let's just take all of those. Very good. All right, he's got 13 rounds. That looks good to me. Peggy, uh, I'm going to let you have the hatchet, which you should be able to swing. Now, see, that should change because she has nine strength. It's still red. Um, see, even a pipe, it's showing red. It should be green. That should be green so you know which items you can look at, which you are able to swing uh, properly. Oh, well. I gave I gave Allie a uh, guest mess, didn't I? gas mask yeah I think I did hope so otherwise we're gonna have to use some anti-radiation pills when he comes back all right and uh, what else can we give her something else to take with her like a uh, block pick or something I think that's about it yeah are those empty empty no yeah. okay okay good I think that's pretty good Yeah, let's do it. I hope I gave Al a gas mask. We'll see you soon enough, I guess. If he gets uh, poisoned. Day 57. Uh oh, both doors are open. Watch out there. Don't be doing that. Come on, buck. What can you do inside of here? Generator. Bud, you can get started on the generator. She's getting the water filter. The shower. It's a generator and shower. Alright, get started on that. Fix that and fix that how are we doing on food we got plenty of food coming radio transmission that was quick they basically walked outside and found something someone across the small house that's a small house is really close to us okay and we're gonna let uh, Kelly take that suit off there's something at the small house okay what do we got we got more food we need we need wood of course now, are we maxed out on our inventory? I think we are. I think we have 36, yeah, 36 spots. Okay. Take all of that. Glass jar. See, I don't know. Oh, that's for recycling. I'll bet you get lenses out of that. Ooh, I'm going to take that just because I think I can get some lenses out of that. Um, toy? Yeah, we'll take it. Probably good for trading. I don't know. You know what? Let's just take it all. We can always dump stuff later. Plus, we got a ton of space now. We got it. we maxed out on our expedition space. Poor stove. We're gonna get that fixed up. We're gonna get a new shower, a new bucket to poop in, <laughs> all that good stuff. It's gonna be it's gonna be grand. Life will be grand in here. By the time I get done with it. Why are you sleeping in that bed? You got such a nice bed over here. Why would you do that? Is it the integrity? I think maybe that's why she picked that one. Maybe it was just the location. You know, location's everything. I uh, can't do anything there. Go train yourself up there. Make yourself useful. Small house. Yeah, check it out. 
getting plenty of rain though. Ooh, we're up to 63 again. That's great. Uh, accept transmission? Yes. Someone at the small house. Approach him. Alright, guys. I just realized what the time was. So, I'm gonna need to go ahead and cut this... Uh, cut this, uh... Episode here. And, uh... We're, we're gonna see what happens with Raven. Excuse me, I got a little sinuses going on. Um... My whole family does too. Actually, my wife doesn't, but my two little ones do. So we're all stuffed up. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode, and we'll deal with this character, Raymond. He looks suspicious. Anybody who has hair like that, I'm very suspicious of. So y'all take care. See you soon.